like playing around with this a bit more. I uh, I stuck some pots on. I I did these ones before yesterday, but I didn't show you. But I'll put them on now. So this is going from the uh, positive to the anode. This is going from the negative to the um, grid. Oh no, sorry, I got that the wrong way around. Right, this is going from the positive to the grid. This one. This is going from the negative to the grid. So like on here. So there's a 50k pot there. There's a 500k pot here. Here, instead of the 22k resistor, I've put a 50k pot. And here, right on 5k, is a 5k pot, where the 4 point, 4 4.7 should be. Yeah, that's still the same. And these are 330 nanofarads. And that's still the same, this 100k pot here, um, resistor, which is that sucker down there. So, with a little bit of faffing around and tweaking about, I got it... Uh, where we got? Oh, I got my phone up late, didn't I? It says, I don't know if you can see that. 440? 440 and 580. It says 400 up there. 400 millivolts. Uh, but it says 4. Well, it's flashing between 420 and 440. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect these, uh, all these pots, and then take the values. I think that this could be adjusted more because this is right on 5k. The adjustment and oh look, if I, I don't think this through very well. If I um, I've got to put this camera on something that's got this here. So I've got this for the solder. Let me put it on there. Trying to do it so you can see it, but I might have to get some. Now this is all going to go horribly wrong now because this takes quite a bit of balancing and messing about. Not the camera, the um, the pots to get it, you know, sort of tweaked up. But I was just going to show you the adjustment you can make. So if I adjust the plate resistor, which is this one here, if I adjust this. You're going to get to see over there what goes on if this camera stays still. Are you going to adjust it? Well, I'll say adjust it a little bit and so that's not mute enough. But these are, these are not sold or anything, these pots. So you can see it dropping down now. There we go, we're at 2.2 .2 volts peak to peak, near enough the same. Whee. Let's take that back up again. Now that's going past the 22k, I'm pretty sure. Right, and now that's, that's, you know, that's all the way to one side of that pot. So I'm pretty sure that's the 50k part. And it's on 5.72 volts peak to peak. Now if I do the the negative side of the grid and adjust that. Ooh, it's a bit sensitive down there. That's on a 500k pot, and that's. I was going to say I think that's all the way. That's not all the way to the 500k. See so now it's got like um, down the bottom. Look. If I start turning that back again. There we go. And if I turn it further than that. Oh, there we go, we're going to lose it again. So that's the deformity. Okay, then if I do the, um, the grids again, 
uh, from the, the positive side and this is the 47k the 50k part of the 47k resistor again we are real slow in general and that's like all the way to the 50k but it's lost a little bit so if I just back it off again somewhere in between there and there That'll do. It's not as good as what I had it a minute ago, but but I'll probably have to go around the whole thing because if you're just one part, then well, the whole lot needs to be tweaked again. This is back on the plate. I was just gonna sort of back that off a little bit because on the plate it should be 22k, so it should be like halfway on this part. If I turn that's halfway, now we've got 4.3 volts. If I give it the, the 50k, we've got 5.28. So if I just adjust the, um, the positive to the grid again, to see if we get any more out of that. If I just back that off slightly. And whoa, that's the negative on the grid. A lot of adjustment there. A lot of adjustment. Now we're back on five, five point, five point eight, five point eight volts peak to peak. Now, of course, there's this one down here as well, but that's on five k and. I mean, it does adjust. If I put it to two and a half k, then it start starts pulling out the bottom. But just because I say you're trying to get my hand in there at this angle with the way this is set up, and all sorts of things in there. But even if I adjust this, so I'm gonna have two hands. I can't can't show the uh, what I can do. Is start adjusting it part way up. So that's like halfway up now. It's probably about like two two and a half k. And you can see look. It starts rounding off the bottom and pulling it up and down to 5.4. Now I know it's done with trying to adjust it back again. I've got to try and get this back over the screw head. There we go. Without pulling it out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to go back again. We're on five. I'm going to take it all the way to the five K. Oh, hang on, I'm actually pulling it out. That's like the five seven two anyway. Five point eight again volts. And it's pretty much all the way down that red marker looks right at the end. So that's what you can do when you just swap around putting some pots on there and that's 5.8 we got 4.4 going in and we got like 5.8 uh, this is set at uh, 1 volt per division and this is at 500 millivolt per division on here there you go I just want to show that so and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do it right now on camera because it's going to be a bit of faffing about. Is I'm going to switch it off. And I'm going to take off. I'm going to take off each of these, and I'm going to measure the uh, the resistance, and I'll come back and, and tell you what that is on each of them. Okay.